Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today have we got an amazing monitor to show you. This is the ViewSonic 35 inch 3440 by 1440p 100 Hz ultra wide RGB gaming monitor and it is huge. It is. I'm Tech and this is Rogue. And Rogue has had this on her streaming PC for what almost two months? Mm -hmm. About that. And you've played with it, you've streamed with it over on Twitch. Link to her Twitch channel down in the video description below. She plays World of Warships and some other games as well, so please check her out. Now, we're both here today because I'm going to talk tech specs in comparison to some other monitors, and she's going to tell you her real-world experiences with it. Tech and benchmarking and stats and numbers and specs, all of that aside, what's it really like to use pros and cons? So you're going to get two points of view. It's a two for today. It is. You can see the monitor in front of us. It is currently running the Heaven benchmark, although it's just on a loop at the moment to show you off this pretty screen. Do keep in mind that we are filming a monitor with a camera with studio lights, and so it's not going to look exactly the same as it does in the studio. We have a lot of monitors. And we've got some cheap ones, and we've got some expensive ones, and I would definitely call this one of the expensive ones, wouldn't you? Yes. I would hope so, because this thing is nearly $700. It is. Which is a lot of money, but it's a lot of monitor. We're going to talk about price and some other options uh, uh, later in this video, but I've already mentioned the specs. Great color, 100 hertz refresh rate, 1440p ultra-wide. It's a first for you. You've never used a 1440p before. No. And it's... Uh, very different using an ultra wide in your games and configurations, but we'll we'll talk about that in just a minute. It has two HDMI ports, one Display Port. It has a USB hub, so you can plug in a couple of USB devices to it and then plug it into your monitor. It has RGB, as I mentioned before. Although, what's the first thing you asked me to do? Turn it off. Yes, because unfortunately the RGB is on the bottom and it just kind of shines in your eyes, and it's more trouble than it's worth, right? It is. Yes. This is a FreeSync monitor, not a G-Sync monitor. So ideally, you'd be using this with, say, the new NaviCard, the new RX 5700 XT. It certainly will work with uh, NVIDIA GeForce cards, and technically, you can turn on G-Sync with FreeSync. The success rate with that on a variety of monitors we've tested has been hit and miss. So I would just count on using AMD if FreeSync is important to you. In any case... Why don't we hand this off to Rogue and let her talk about her real-world experiences. So as Tech mentioned, I have been using this on my desk downstairs to Twitch stream and also to do YouTube videos on as well. And I have to say the 21.9 aspect of it bugged me a lot. I really enjoyed gaming on it, but I did not enjoy the content creation of it. As far as gaming on it, woo! you can see a lot of stuff. You can see Cap A, Cap B, Cap C when you're playing World of Warships and you can see everything. But as far as content creating with it, it was just too tricky to try and get everything in the right spot. Interestingly enough, if you're just making or editing home videos, of course, you can certainly just open up your video editing program and edit in say 16.9 instead of the 21.9 aspect ratio of this monitor. However, as I noted in the beginning of the video, Rogue is a Twitch streamer. And when you're playing your game in 21.9 and you're trying to stream to Twitch in 16.9, the aspect ratios don't work at all. And you either have to shrink the game or cut off the edge of the game, or you have to put something at the top and bottom. And it just doesn't quite look right. Now, YouTube does support 21.9. You could film or you could record gameplay in 21.9 and upload it to YouTube, but Frankly, if you're streaming or creating content, most people have 16.9 normal aspect ratio monitors, and it's just, it's just much easier to work with. So if you're just a gamer and all you want to do is play games, it's pretty cool. But frankly, for Twitch streamers, stick with the standard size. Your life is just much, much easier. So one other thing I did notice is that we pulled it out of the box and we unboxed it and we put it on the desk and we plugged it in and I started using it. We didn't have to mess around with brightness or contrast or anything like that. We plugged it in and off we went to town. It was easy to use. Uh, it was simple. I mean, you, 
there was nothing to do or configure. It looked nice out of the box. There was no calibration or adjustments, which sometimes, interestingly enough, on premium monitors, you do have to mess around with because they have so many adjustments. You can adjust everything in the world on a pre on basic monitors. You often don't have any adjustments, but this really didn't need any. It's a nice monitor, but that segues us into the whole, is it a good deal? Yes and no. It depends upon what the price is when you're watching this video. Here's the thing. There are a lot of 3440 by 1440p ultra wide monitors. Okay. And as I speak, I'm going to put up the product information here on the screen for several of them. If this is available for less than some of those other choices at the time you watch this video, or maybe in your country, if you're not in the United States, then yes, I would recommend it. I think it's a good deal. At the time of filming this video, this monitor was only $30 less expensive than the IPS 3440 by 1440p ultra wides. A good example of this would be the Acer X34 Predator, which is also a 100 hertz refresh rate, but that has G-Sync instead of FreeSync. And it, while it's a 34 inch and this is a 35 inch, it's technically slightly smaller. I don't know how much smaller it would be in real life, but it's a little bit smaller. However, that's a true IPS panel versus a VA panel. And for basically what, 5% difference in price? I would want to get an IPS panel for 5% difference in price. If this were $200 less expensive instead of $30 less expensive, it's color reproduction for gaming would mean that I would actually seriously consider this. It has a good three millisecond response time. Would you agree the colors are really nice? They're really pretty. It's it's vibrant, it's bright. Is the, the image is easy to see. You didn't have to play with it. You could see everything on the screen. Was the text sharp? I didn't have a problem reading the text. So. Is your only problem that the aspect ratio for what you do as a Twitch streamer just was more trouble than it was worth? Yes. Trying to configure OBS to get all the stuff, it's just, you wanted your... Now here's what's interesting. There is an option available if you're looking for a budget option. And if you want to see the size difference, we're going to put another monitor on the desk here and show you what she's actually using now because it's just easier. This is what a 32 inch 16.9 monitor looks like next to a 35 inch 21.9 aspect ratio. We have them height adjusted to be roughly the same height on the bottom. And notice that there is, would you say that's what, about two inches? about a two inch difference on the top. Even though this is only 32 inches, it's much taller. It's just much narrower. So if you're a Twitch streamer or a content creator and you want that size, this is what Rogue has on her desk, on her streaming machine downstairs right now. Are you happy with your monitor? Much. Is, is, did it just make your life simpler to not have an odd size? Yes. So if you're only a gamer, cool that you can see wider dimensions. The fact that like in World of Warships, it isn't just that there's a wider screen, but you actually can see to the left and right further than you can on this size. Correct. There is one other big benefit to this monitor right here, and I will link to this down in the description below. This is a 32 inch Acer 1440p standard, so 2560 uh, by 1440p, 75 hertz instead of 100 hertz. It's also FreeSync, and it's also, at the time we're filming this video, $250 versus nearly $700. It's also an IPS panel versus a VA panel. I like this ViewSonic. However, 32-inch, 35-inch IPS VA, 1440p standard, 1440p ultra-wide, 250, nearly 700. <laughs> My biggest single problem with these ultra wides is their price per, they're just a lot of money is my only biggest complaint with these. I mean, they're nice. This is a nice monitor. It is. If this monitor were four to $500, would it be more interesting? It would, if gaming was all you were doing. There is another benefit to having the monitor only be $250. How many of these do you currently have on your desk? Well, two. This is my third one. This is number three. You're a Twitch streamer and you have two monitors. Yes. And we just bought this for you. Yes. And this is going where next? Downstairs on my desk. So 
For $750, you get three 32-inch 1440p IPS 75 hertz panels for just a little bit over the price of one of these. Because I still had to have a second monitor and even a third monitor would help as well. So really, if you bought this, you'd need two more smaller monitors, so you're at least a thousand bucks. Easy, yes. And then the monitors are all different shapes. Yes. And here you can have three identical monitors. Yes. There is something else we haven't talked about that's worth mentioning. 3440 by 1440p is five million pixels. 2560 by 1440, is 3.6. You need a lot less graphics card That's true. to drive this panel than you do this panel. That's true. And in terms of your total system cost, you're reducing by like a third the demand on your system in general. Unless, of course, you want to play a game in ultra wide across all three monitors, in which case that would be, you know, <laughs> like crazy. You'd need all the computer and power, but you could, you in could, theory, it'd be could. pretty cool. In any case, uh, we just wanted to put this up here and give you a comparison and show you what else was possible. These are cool. These are neat. These are awesome. It's nice. It's a lot of money. It's a great panel. The, the image is great. It's just, I wish it were like $200 less, and then I would be much, much more excited about it, all things considered. How about you? Very true. Yes. Well, thank you all so much. This has been an interesting thing for us. Is this the very first time we've ever done a formal video on YouTube with just you and me like this in front of the camera? I did a build. We did a build, but where but it's just us talking to the camera. Yes, this is it. This is... This is our first time. It's our first! Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember, subscribe to our channel with that big huge red button down below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, you know where the comment section is. Links in the video description below to this. The other 34 and 35 inch ultra wides, links to this value beast right here, links to Rogue's Twitch channel. Go throw her a follow if you are interested. She streams a couple of times a week when she's able to. We have kids, so that always makes it a challenge, but she certainly tries to. And if you like World of Warships, she plays with her viewers and would love to invite you to divisions. So if you want to have a Twitch streamer who interacts with her audience, you've come to the right place. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see all of you next time.